turn over chain, 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 turn over chain. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, back with our Miami Death Penalty series, man. We are 0 and 3. It's been a tough year here so far. This week, we will be taking on a team that's literally on our level. Uh, you know, another defeated team, Georgia State. They're D. They're straight Ds across the board. We're D pluses across the board. Uh, they have us beat in three categories. We have them beating everything else. We score more points a game than them. They've only averaged 12 points in their three games. You know what I mean? But we turn the ball over, but hopefully something's telling me that we won't turn the ball over against them. You know what I mean? I didn't even see. Is Kirk rolling with us? I mean, he's rolled with us pretty much every game. Yeah, he's rolling with us. Don't know what he sees in this squad, man, that he thinks that we're going to get a win. After this one, this is a doubleheader episode. We will be taking on a former conference foe, Georgia Tech. They're 2-1 and one on the season, but you know what I mean? We cannot look, look past this team. This may be like the only win we have all season, the way we're playing. So hopefully we can come out here and get the job done. Real quick, looking at uh, how our squad is playing, you see Jay Tomp, seven touchdowns, seven picks. He's also the leader, you know, on the ground. Rob Owens is the leader, you know what I mean, receiving-wise, two touchdowns. Troy King's leading us in tackles. Marcus Brown leading us in interceptions. And Deion Norris leading us in sacks. Let's see if we can come out here and get it done. Also, real quick, we're going to go over recruiting in between games. But we have some visiting prospects. We got three-star John Fields, three-star Drew Harrison, and three-star Dan Hill, an athlete, a receiver, and a middle linebacker. Not sure if we're going to be able to get the, the defensive uh you know, goals done, but hopefully we can for sure get the offensive uh, things done. You see here, here's a look at our best players. Marcus Brown's on a hot streak. You know what I mean? We got some players better than theirs. Their best players are 74. He is a receiver. And then after that, it's the punter and kicker. So it's looking good for us, man. And they also have an injured middle linebacker. Shout out to them. We have a chance. All right, guys. So Georgia State wins the coin toss. They elect to defer here on the road. Isaac Johnson, he's been having some decent returns this year. He hasn't taken anything back to the house, but he's been pretty close. He jukes the defender out of his shoes there. Cross the 20, spins back inside, but he ends up getting caught. 30-yard tip. Even though we lost both games last episode, we found that, you know, a more time management style is, is you know, best fits us. Letting Jay Tomp, you know what I mean, use his, his athleticism, you know what I mean, in the option game and, you know, spreading things out and letting him make one read and running. Hopefully we can do that here today. I definitely have no problem playing, you know, a time management style of football. We don't need to be going on forever as we run into the triple option here. Boom. Good read. Hands it, pitches it to Stinson. He's the fastest of the two running backs that we have, but his uh, acceleration is god-awful. All right, guys. Things are looking good. Keeping the chains moving. Boom. Little play action, and immediately we get sacked. Thank God we find a way to get it back, though. The thing about this team, man, things can go left or right so quick. The, the drive was moving, and then boom. Just like that, nothing coming out of it. Get out of the pocket, set our feet, and Deion Boykin drops the pass, and the corner picks it off. He's off to the races. Come on, Ralph, I need you. Come on, Ralph. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, man, so we're semi in striking distance. Not not that well off yet, just because, you know, our, of course, our, cooker, our kicker isn't that good. Run a little screenplay. Boykin is open. He's over the middle, and he gets the first down. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're just outside the red zone. Oh, flush out of the pocket. Use them wheels. They can't catch you. Yes, sir. Let's go. Cut it in. Ah, don't fumble. Hold on to it. Let's get it. That's one of the only. That's one of the best offensive plays we have. <laughs> let the receivers run out and then let Jay Tomp just run loose. Oh, he's got Perf wide open, and he stopped running his route. This is game number four on the year. We still have a ton of communication issues on this squad. It's absolutely, like, it's actually impressive. Waking over the middle, getting the end zone, little fella. Let's go. 5'6 receiver, you know what I mean? Going over the middle against them linebackers, getting into the end zone. Let's get it. All right, man, fourth and inches. Let's watch out for the fake here. That's why we're doing a pump block. We want to be, you know what I mean, looking alive for everything. I don't think they're necessarily going to fake it, though. They probably should give it to us. All right, it is going to be a punt. We don't get anywhere near the punter. Let's see if Isaac Johnson can give us a good return here. He usually doesn't have the blocks he needs on punts. He's using his speed, though. Boom. Oh, you got one more dude to beat. Burn him. Make the block. Make the block. Troy, come on, baby. Sacks are definitely, you know, you never want sacks, but right after a big play is definitely not something you want to see. It is what it is, though. Let's get it. Three, three minutes left here. Boykin over the middle. He's been holding us down here today. No, oh, no, he hasn't. <laughs> Besides that one drop for the pick six, Boykin has been holding us down. You know what I mean? Can't ask for that much more. Oh, we got one. 
Dot, get in there, small wood. Let's go. That's his second touchdown of the season. And you know what I mean? We take the lead. I think like, I think it's like Tevin Williams over here on the outside, our number two corner. He has the speed, but his coverage is god awful. Like it's it's trash, bro. Turn him around. All right, so Georgia State is feeling froggy. They feeling like we soft, like everything's gravy, like we weak. They're going for it here on fourth down. It's a run. We get in there, and it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I thought we got in there, honestly. <laughs> Showing the Marcus Brown has just really held down the secondary. You know what I mean? Bright, stop, bright spots on, you know, a dark defense. It's a delay handoff. Showing over pursues. Marcus comes down. He gets taken for a little ride into the end zone. Ah. <sighs> We lack so much fundamentally, man. <laughs> like, athletically, we got some ballers. But fundamentally, like, you got to know the breakdown to make that tackle there. I think Johnson on his return. Using his speed. Juking in. God, I thought we had him that time. Deion Boykin. <laughs> the leading receiver so far today, man. But also leading us in drops. Get your life together, bro. Going to Isaac. He beats his man. Perfectly ran route. You know what I mean? They lock, they lock up on him a lot because they key in on him, but when he gets open, he does work. All right, first and 10. See if we can get him with a corner route here again. Going right back to Isaac. He kills his man. He's got enough speed to get past him. He's in the end zone. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the first half. We actually go into the halftime with the lead, up seven. You know what I mean? Well, Georgia State gets the ball to start the second half, but hopefully our defense can keep up this intensity. Watch out for the play action. It's a run. We over pursue. No. We'll, oh, and Summerall falls. Wow, is that really how we're going to start the second half? This team, man. It's comical, yo, honestly. All right, so we definitely start off the second half on the wrong foot. You know what I mean? Here we are, though. Going up top to Dion. He's got a, he's got a step. Let's go. He actually makes the catch, and we, and we ourselves answer back in one play. Bang, baby. Let's get it. Come on, fellas. All right, first and ten here. It's a delay handoff. Oh, wow. Summer all make the tackle. Nope. Marcus misses the tackle. Gets smushed, smushed out of the way. June Brown is the last line of defense. Finally, Kirby. Second and goal. It's on the ground. Get there. Let's go, baby. Kirby Jones, or is that Stowe? Third and goal, fellas. Let's get it. Oh, of course. Of course. Hey, Tom's having a good day out here today, man. Besides that pick, which wasn't his fault. 10 for 15, four touchdowns, one pick. Doing well. Boom. Nice little read option there. Juke inside. Get off me. Make a block. Let's go. That's a gutsy throw. Isaac makes the catch, and he gets lit up. Way to hold on to that. The old man showing off his toughness there. Boom. Isaac coming right back to you, sir. And we got a touchdown. Let's go. We just tied the school record for passing touchdowns in the game, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Get those fours up. Miami has a 35-28 lead here. Georgia State has the ball. They're driving. Who's going to make those plays to win this ball game? Somebody's got to get their first win today. All right, here we go. First and 10. Oh, we're right there. We were right there. Turn over chain. 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 Can he take it back to the crib? There's a man on his heels. He breaks the tackle. He's still in bounds. Brought down at the five. Let's go. Get the chain out. All right, man. So the offense is starting out in business here. Let's go. Let's put points on the board. A little screenplay. Isaac's wide open. Touchdown number three on the day for him. He ties the school record for receiving touchdowns in the game. Jay Tom just broke the school record for passing touchdowns in the game. And just like that, our offense is actually looking somewhat competent. All right, guys. So we forced a turnover and score immediately off of it. Definitely a good look. Quarterback's taking off. We get a sack. Let's go. Deion Norris' is second sack of the game. All right, guys. Third and ten here. Let's get this stop. Make the hit, Kirby. You don't. Marcus Brown does, though. Oh, no, it's Sean Brown. Can't really tell who it is until I see the number. But you know what I mean? Big bro coming up with a tackle. All right, here we go. Third and 20. Something crazy. We got Isaac open. Can he get... Oh, he had a toe tap. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it because I believe we can get it. And we're also going for it just to take a little bit more time off the clock here. Because, the you know, the objective is still to win. Boykin. Boom. Actually making catches today. Jukes inside. Finally bought down shot of 20. 20-yard 20 pickup. Let's get it. All right, guys. So Georgia State just used their first timeout. You know what I mean? We're, we're at 201 on the clock. Going to Rob. I think that's his first catch of the day. Oh, I wanted him to break that tackle. Nonetheless, timeout number two we take from Georgia State. All right, first and goal. 
Let's get, let's get that last time out. Oh, we got a lot of green. Jay Tomp is going to get into the end zone untouched, baby. Let's go. That's how you get the job done. All right, guys, that's going to do it for game number one. We get our first W of the season, and we did it in true dominating fashion. Jay Thompson, your player of the game, he played absolutely insane. Let's go take a deeper dive into the stats. All right, so final game stats. What a game from Jay Thompson. 16 for 22, 309, six touchdowns, one pick, which wasn't his fault. It was a drop. You know what I mean? Tip drill, 72 completion percentage, sacked three times, 19 yards per um, completion. On the ground, 12 for 42 with touchdown. Stinson, 10 for 72. No touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Isaac Johnson had a hell of a day. 7 for 123, three touchdowns. I, I mean, Deion Boykin had a big game, you know, even though he had two drops, 5 for 125, two touchdowns. Stinson chipped in with one. Owens, Smallwood, both chipped in with one. And then, uh, you know, Smallwood on his one catch made the most of his opportunities and scored a touchdown. Now, defensively, Kirby Jones led the squad in tackles along with Marcus Brown, both with four all solo, closely followed by Sean Brown with three all solo. He also, he also had one for loss. The ones we had one sack that went to Deion Norris. I guess the other sack they didn't really uh, give to anybody. One pick from Tevin Williams. Then we had one drop pick from Marcus Brown. And uh, all in all, man, we played a great game. You know what I mean? Game number one, we got the W. Now, if we can keep this momentum up, you know, heading into the next game against Georgia Tech, that'd be lovely. But you guys are just going to have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and take a look at some recruiting before we get into the next game. All right, guys, here we are recruiting. Brief intermission in between games. Go and take a quick look, you know what I mean, at where we're sitting at. Uh, you know what I mean? Looking at what we got from our visit. We got plus 150 there, plus 150. He hasn't come yet. Uh, he's coming week six. Dan Hill got plus 250 there. Jesse Summers, we got plus 200. Ryan Barber, plus 200. Brilly Richardson comes week six. Plus 100 for John, for John Fields, plus 400 for Drew Harrison. You see here we lost our first recruit. Matt Ford, 67 overall receiver to FAU. So, you know what I mean? We lost some in-state. But remember, guys, we only have 10 scholarships this first season. But I think we're going to go ahead and, you know, and, uh, and offer our first scholarships to the guys we want. Unfortunately, we are unable to scout, you know, until we sign a player. Everybody we're still leading on that, that visited or is about to visit, we're going to just go ahead and uh, offer them points. Gene Ruffin. He just visited, right? We'll wait till after he comes week six before we completely take him off of our board. Scholarship Ryan Barber. We're going to go ahead and take you off our list. No need to have you there. Then uh, Billy Richardson. We're losing him to FIU. So right here is going to be between one of these two, one of these three dudes. You know what I mean? Matt Young is pretty much recruiting himself. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw points on uh, on Matt Young since, he, since, you know, without us having any points on him, he still has us leading leading his race so that's that you know what i mean we got everybody we got our scout all of our scholarships offered still nobody's yet to sign so we're gonna see who comes here all right guys here we are back at home here in south beach taking on georgia tech let's get our second straight dub all right guys so we won the coin toss we're electing to uh be on defense first gotta stop this annoying georgia tech defense i mean offense excuse me you know what i mean this option Ooh, and they're already they're probably going to score off the first play. I don't think we have enough speed to combat this offense. I mean, it's already hard to, to play against with a super-duper stacked team, but golly. One of the things I definitely want to make better before anything else, man, we need a, we need a decent line. Because even though we're not the fastest, we got some playmakers. Boom, over the middle, Smallwood making a big, tough catch. One thing we want to continue is Isaac Johnson Eaton, the number one guy on the outside. Rob only had, like, one catch last game. Isaac, we got you. Boom. Make a miss. Get off me, sir. Wheels, baby. Speed. Come on, old man. Get in there. Bang. Let's go, dog. But stopping these dudes on defense, that's going to be the real problem. That's what really scares me. As we saw the first play of the game, they took it to the crib. You know what I mean? Let's go. And they, they, they work on the clock, too. Boom. It's an option. We're all over it. Let's go. Sometimes you just got to sell out. All right, guys. So we're about to switch some things up here. Conservative tackle. Conservative strip, you know, strip ball. We're going to go conservative zone. We're going to go conservative everything until they make a switch. All right, so it looks like we have them in a in a throwing situation. We definitely want them to be in one of these situations, but we still got to be able to make that stop. Come on, Marcus. You got to catch it, but nonetheless, we will be getting the rock back, baby. Let's go. Great stand there by the defense. Definitely a complete 180 from the first drive. You know what I mean? It's a good look because uh, after that first play of the game, looked like it was going to be a long one. But getting, the, getting that stop there was a little reassuring. We got some decent blocks here on the punt return. Isaac Johnson has the speed. He has elite speed, baby. Get around him. We get a block. Come on. Ah, let's go, baby. Going to our main man, Isaac. 
He's the number one receiver for a reason. He breaks a tackle. You know what I mean? Tells the corner, get off me, but he's eventually brought down. The difference with Stinson and, and Booker, Booker has great acceleration, but he's slow. Stinson has speed, but it takes him forever to get to top speed. Boom. Right here, Book's looking good. Juke inside. Get off me. Get in the end zone, Book. Let's go, baby. All right. You trying to hold on to that job. I see you. All right, guys. So in the first quarter, quarterback's over 100 yards. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We'll be all right. Oh, nice little misdirection there. Marcus missing the tackle. Come on, Devin. He doesn't make the tackle. Georgia Tech's tying the ball game up. All right, guys. Here we are facing a third and night and 13. Not 19, excuse me. Get out of the pocket, though. Do it with your legs. Boom, cut out on him. Ah, get out of bounds. <clears throat> Having a quarterback at any time that can take off and get you a big gain of yards is definitely a lifesaver, especially with a team, you know what I mean, of this skill level. Rob's open. Can you make the throw? He cannot. Ah. Had to try to fit it in between the corner and safety. Rob's tackle gets struck. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Make the tackle. All right, defense. We need to make a stop, dog. Come on, fellas. Boom. We're there. Oh, over-pursued. And we kind of want over pursue from getting the running back. And y'all don't even hit the quarterback, fellas. Come on now. Have no idea what they're going to run. They actually do pass it. Oh, get the sack. Let's go, fellas. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, guys. Here we go. First and 10. 237 left here in the ball game. Trying to see if we can get Isaac to go deep here. Pause. That sounded crazy. Isaac has the step. The pass is out there. Why'd you lay out, Isaac? Run through the ball, dog. I know you could get there, man. Don't sell out. All right, man. If we could, if we could put, if we could score a touchdown here, you know what I mean? It'd be a good look for us. Blitz came. Isaac beats his man. What else is new? This dude continues to eat out here, man. All right, man. So our, our guy, so, you know what I mean? Our time management style is working in our favor because we get ball at half. You know what I'm saying? We put the score here. You know what I mean? Get the ball right back. It's a good look. Ooh, get up in there. Untouched, baby. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it here for the first half. We're heading into the locker room with a four-point lead, and we're getting the rock back. Let's build on this momentum, baby. Third and nine, fellas. Let's go. Isaac holding it down. Spit off him. Ooh, the juke. Stay up. Let's go. Ah! All right, here we go. Second and 13, man. Let's keep it going. The blitz is coming. It was actually picked up. That's a gutsy throw. Stinson coming up with his second big catch of the game, baby. Let's go. He knew he was going to get lit up, but it didn't matter. He didn't matter. It didn't matter. All right, guys. Here we go. Second and four now. Boom. Stay behind your blockers. That's a good run. If we get held to three here, that'll be very, very disappointing. You know what I mean? That'll only put us up a touchdown instead of two scores. Boom. Pocket broke down. Hit him up. Hold on to the rock. Let's go. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Get those fours up, baby. We got a four-point lead in the fourth quarter. We're, we got a third and goal. Let's see if we can punch it in. All right, third and goal, fellas. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. It's open. All legs, baby. Speed kills, dog. Let's eat. All right, so we just proved we can manage the clock. And we got a two-possession you know I mean? two lead. So even if they score here, we already know we're coming for them timeouts. Oh, we're in the backfield. We were there. Let's go. Marcus Brown coming down. Oh, no. Sean Brown coming down, making a big tackle. All right, guys. We got ourselves a third and nine here. No screen. Come on, June. Get there, baby. Come on, dog. I'm, I'll be trusting you, dog. All right, first and ten. Looks like they're back in business again. They keep it on the ground. It's a broken play. Sean whiffs the tackle. Troy gets blocked, and they're going to put six more on the board. Come on, Tev. Damn. All right, guys. So they're going for two, trying to go down three here. Don't blame them. That's what they should do. Here it is. Oh, I was there, and I'm... All right, guys, so here we go. Three-point lead. The quarterback has damn near 200 yards on us, 180 to be exact. It's time for us to run the clock out. We just took away a full six minutes from this team. Oh, Isaac, let's go. Do we finally have that one? We don't, man. You just you just always end up getting caught. Oh, wait. All right, third and inches. We get the first down here. The timeouts are our hours. Boom, they take away everything. Cut it out to the outside, Jay Tom. Stay in bounds, though. Stay in bounds. Let's go. That's a big run. Big time, big boy run. All right, guys. So we still got a score here, of course. You know what I mean? But we're definitely in a good situation. Another read. More blocks up front. Get out of my god darn way. We score six. Put the U up, baby. All right, guys. So we got a 10-point lead, a minute 58 left here. But even though they don't throw that well, they've already proven they can score rather quickly on it. So let's go. Locking up on everything. June, get there. Woo! 
You, you, you didn't catch it, but you batted it away. Let's go. Finally, your, your 80 man coverage is showing. Second and 10, fellas. Let's go. Leave you on the island, June. They're going deep. Come on, Tev. Get there. God, catch the ball, baby. Y'all keep dropping these picks. All right, here we go. Third and 10, fellas. Oh, wow. He killed me. I came up to help, and he ran smooth past the linebacker. And he breaks the tackle. Come on, June. Catch him. Come on, yo. All right, here comes the onside kick from Georgia Tech. If we let these dudes get this show, I'm probably going to break this controller. All right, Boykin Boykin makes the catch. Wow. All hands, too. I love it. This defense of ours is disgusting and not in a good way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, time to take these three timeouts. Continue what we've been doing out here. Nice little easy read. Cut it up. Let's go. Timeout number one. Give me that. All right, second and four. Bang. Juke inside. Give me that first. Stay up. All right. All right, guys. We got one more timeout to come up after. Well, we're going to get it. It's regardless if we get the first down. But once we do get a first down, it's over. Oh, yeah. Key blocks there. Booker, nice spin. Stay up. They tried to force the fumble, but you know what I mean? We ain't going. Here we are in the victory formation. This is going to be win number two. Get Georgia Tech out of here. Great ball game. Glad we got the W. All right, guys. That is it. We have done it. The clock has hit triple zeros. They called it the ESPN, Pla ESPN Classic. You see here, Jay Tom, great game. Four touchdowns, a turnover, 330 yards total. You know he's the player of the game. Looks like, you know what I mean, we, we're, we're, hit, we're clicking on all cylinders right now. But let's go take a deeper dive into these stats. All right, guys, so look at the score summary. You know, you know what I mean? It was a complete shutout on both sides in the third. But for the most part, you know what I mean, both teams were going back and forth. Us holding them to that field goal in the second really came back, you know what I mean, to set us up nicely. And uh, ultimately, we got the win. Player stats, another great game for Jay Tom. 13 for 19, 242, a touchdown, a pick, 68 completion percentage, 18 yards per completion, sacked twice on the ground, 18 for 88, three touchdowns, book six for 32 and a touchdown. Receiving wise, Isaac Johnson with another phenomenal game. Five catches, 151 yards, a touchdown, 30 yards per reception. Boykin with three for 33. Booker and Stinson chipped in with two. Smallwood with one. Pretty much what he does every game. Moving on to the defensive side of the ball, Summerall, along with Sean Brown, led the squad of tackles with four all solo. Both had tackles for loss. Two sacks went to carry Dupree here today. We didn't catch any picks, but we definitely dropped a few. You know what I mean? June, Marcus, and Will all dropped them, but ultimately it didn't matter in the end as we got the W. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. We finally got wins, baby. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, arcadegames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.